While there have been bumps in the vaccine rollout, uh, we are making progress in our city and across the region and province. We are scaling up vaccine clinics, seeing some increased confidence in the supply and distribution chain. It's very stressed uh, across all of our sites uh, right now. We have seen that rise in COVID patients, uh, much closer to what we had seen earlier in wave two. Uh, where we peaked around 100 uh, COVID patients. Now we're sitting around 90 across our sites. Consequently, we see those very high occupancy rates uh, with 108 and 107%, which is pretty staggering at the General and the Juravinsky site, respectively, 122% uh, at West Lincoln. So important to note, all of our sites are feeling these pressures. The question remains, is this wave three? It probably is, or is it wave two B? because we never were as low as uh, we've been over summer between the first and the second wave. I think at the end of the day, it's semantics. We see numbers going up. Things are getting worse again, which can be or is being defined as wave three by most. The core of the strategy revolves around um, mass clinic age-based distribution. Phase two would see us to begin to move through age bands, probably in five-year increments. The majority of those vaccines are expected to be delivered um, through mass clinics, like the one at HHS, um, as well as the one at the West 5th campus of St. Joe's. Um, and next week, we'll be opening the first Ontario Centre to add another uh, up to 3,000 doses per day. I know everyone who is listening today is very concerned and committed to keeping ourselves, our families, our patients and our colleagues safe. Um, I encourage people to go back and say, how do we use the standard tools to audit ourselves? How do we gently correct each other and maybe not so gently if it bluntly needs to be corrected? Um, but vaccines alone are not going to be enough. So no gentle reminder, strong message that we need to remember PPE distancing in our RPAC measures. In the last three to four months, um, actually 400 million doses of vaccine have been given worldwide. And I think in December, when we started with the vaccination program, there was still a lot of questions we didn't have answers to. But over time, um, with the uh, amazing rollout of vaccine, uh, the overall safety of the vaccines has been confirmed.